My name is Harry Phillips. And I don't sleep. I'm not a real sleep. I occasionally doze, but it doesn't last long. It's not like a long, dark, comfortable tunnel that swallows me up. I have a nervous bone cracking rest that's not really a rest at all. I usually wake up all jittery. been like this for like three months ever since Sophia left. <sighs> it was my non-sleeping that did it. Same happened to my job, then my friends. One by one they disappeared like a hazy dream. But they were real. Their telephone calls quit. That, that was real. And though I'm not in any physical, physical pain, I hurt just the same. My chest feels like it's collapsing. Most of the time I find it hard to breathe. hasn't changed much. I eat four meals a day, sometimes five. Do a little drinking now and then and thought about taking up smoking as a hobby. TV seems to be a big part of my life now. You know, I try to go out for walks and for a fresh breath of air. And I went out to the mailbox just about a, just the other day, one day, about a month ago. Well, I can't do it anymore. Digging it up. My food usually arrives to me thanks to Goody Food Services. The food is much better. It's usually got more characteristic than what Sophia used to make. You know, I used to think that she was some projection from the television until I started finding bits and pieces of her around the house. Her yellow scarf, the scented candle, the strand of hair near the sink. The news always seems the same. Different names of people getting shot or run over or chased by the police. Losing their jobs. Like I lost my job. Can't even remember what it was anymore. Something to do with food, perhaps. I'm like an escaped convict hiding out. Like Bogey. I remember him. Sometimes when I'm enjoying a cigarette, I sit on the porch and sit and stare at the rain as it engulfs me. Like it surrounds and touches my house and 
reaches out and touches me with like such an intelligence. Future Mrs. Phillips? I'm trying to be serious here. Sometimes all this just doesn't seem real. That's weird. I feel like that sometimes too. sound yet frightening and that was the night I heard it come and, and the noise in the attic Hello? 
Who's there? Hello? a little agitated today? I'm, I'm very agitated. I, I can't sleep. Does the lack of sleep cause you pain? Not, not real pain. I'm, I'm confused. It's about reality. Who are you? Oh, you're confused. You're probably thinking, am I real? You, you must be real. I, I don't ever dream. Well, ask yourself that question. Is he real? Am I real? Of course I'm real. Good answer. We've made a lot of progress with you, Harry. You've been a very good subject. What do you mean, subject? I, I don't understand. We've grown very fond of you, Harry. Very fond. That's when it told me everything. I'd once been a little boy lost in the woods. A visiting ship collecting intelligent life saw me and just scooped me up. It was all so clear now. The missing moments in time. Sophie being there one minute and then gone the next. It was all so very damn clear. They brought me to their planet for study. And as I grew, they made me see and feel certain emotions, and then they studied them. They're planning an invasion, someday. But first they wanted to study their prey, find the weakness in the human race, see what we're made of psychologically. Any time I suspected I was being watched, they would feed me an emotion, make me forget everything that I knew, make me question myself, my sanity, fear of leaving the house or running out of breath, suffocating and dying alone. They would be done with me soon, promised the other Harry. Then they would let me go, but they didn't say where. I had no Sophia. Truth was mind-numbing. No job, no friends. Truth made my, my chest hurt. They came over and, and quit calling. I, I was truly alone. Harry, just one more test. Enjoy. Sophia's coming over today. She called me on the phone apologizing because she left. I had some flowers delivered today for her. I even dug my best clothes out of the chest. I think we're getting back together today. At least I hope so. Just like Bowie.
we do get back together, I want to move from this house. I keep hearing those rats in the attic, the little bastards. We're going to have to buy a trap for them and snap their nasty little necks. for test. My name is Harry Phillips. I don't sleep. 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 I don't sleep.